Okay guys, I bought a new battery for the GX. It's an AGM. The factory battery on the Lexus is not a uh, AGM. It's just the regular uh, lead acid. And uh, the one that I bought, the one that came with the GX uh, since I bought it was brand new uh, from January of last year, which was 2020. It died out on me, so. Um, and it was still under warranty, but I was like, you know what? I don't feel like dealing with this. So I went out and I got an AGM. I bought it from uh, Batteries Plus. I'll put a link in the description. And uh, I went over there to pick it up. And uh, yeah, I installed it myself and everything. But the thing is, a buddy of mine from uh, on Instagram, GX uh, underscore Overlander. I'll uh, put something up for him. Um, he told me that I have to put in a diode in the fuse location for the alternator otherwise the AGM will not get charged properly so that's what I did I went ahead and I bought uh, this little diode that you put in the fuse slot I'll leave a link in the description uh, basically you put that in and then you should that tricks the alternator into pushing out a little more voltage you know so it can charge the AGM properly. So let me go ahead and show you guys what the battery looks like. Okay guys, here's the new battery. It's a group 24F. I was told that I can also do the 27F it would fit, but this is more than enough. I'm not really gonna be running anything off of this one. So yeah, 24F it is. Uh, it's made by X2 Power. Um, I think it's made by, what was it? Uh, North Star or something? Five year warranty, 60 months. And, um, but yeah, that's the battery. And uh, I gotta install this little diode. I'll leave a link in the description. So that this thing can get charged properly by the alternator. Because you know these aren't these cars aren't made uh, from the factory to charge AGM batteries, just a regular lead acid. So let's go ahead and open up the fuse box. There we go. Take that out, and we're looking for the 7.5 amp fuse, which should be this one right here. It has to be the alt. S. You can see that right there. It says Alt S. So, yeah, it's under the 25 amp one, which is under the 30 amp relay. So, yeah, it's this one right here. If you're looking from the side, so you got to take the 7.5 out. And to do that, grab your little fuse removal little tool take this fuse out but wait first I'm gonna check what's the battery what's the um, charging voltage on the stock on the stock um, fuse hold on I dropped something in here oh by the way this is really nice it's for the neg negative battery terminal I bought it off of Aliexpress you just put it on here so it matches that so let's go ahead and check what the stock battery charging voltage is um, I got my little voltmeter right here so let me go ahead and start the car and then we'll see all right you guys I started up the car and we're getting 13.71 volts 13.70 to 13.72 all right, so the engine is warmed up and it's dropped down to 13.44, 44 to 45. That's what it's charging at right now. So let's see if it brings that up to 14 once I put this in. And uh, if it does, then we'll know, you know, this little trick works and it'll take care of charging the AGM battery. Okay guys, let's go ahead and remove the little fuse. 
right there. Pull it out. All right, there it is. And we've got our little diode. And by the way, I think it has to be pointed with the arrow pointing towards the driver's seat. So if you're standing here, you know, from the side of the car, the little arrow should be pointing that way. Hopefully that because it doesn't go in all the way but I don't know we'll just see if that works or not because they don't they don't make this thing as a low profile mini fuse I just have it this way so I shall give it a try and uh, yeah let's see all right, I'm gonna go and start the car back up. Well, you guys, um, I did bring it up a little bit to 13.8586. Not sure if that's enough. I think it should be, but I'm gonna do a little bit of research online and uh, I'll let you guys know but I think this trick did work. It's definitely charging at a higher voltage. Getting a higher voltage on the AGM. So let's see. But yeah, this is it for now, guys. Um, like I said, this is an X2 power from Batteries Plus. I'll leave a link in the description. This is the Group 24F uh, 840 cold cranking amps. And uh, I guess it's like a dual purpose slash deep cycle so you probably could run your fridge off of this if you wanted to if you had one for a while but um, yeah it's holding steady at 13.8483 before it was 13.44 so yeah this trick does seem to work Okay, so I did a little bit of research guys and I found out that this will be sufficient because what we saw was 13.84 uh, volts with the new diode installed and from my research it says here you need 13.2 to 13 uh, sorry 13.2 to 13.8 volts for float charging and that's like, uh, you know, when your battery is pretty much full and um, like to maintain your battery voltage. But when it's doing an absorption charge, that means the battery is low and it's pulling in, you know, a lot more to get the battery charged like towards full, then it would be charging at 14.6 to 14.8 volts for um, AGM batteries. So I think we're good because what we were seeing is the battery is already full. So that's why it wasn't um, keeping it at the 14 or, or, or above. It was just keeping it at 13.8. So that's just like a float charge. I guess that's what the alternator was doing because it saw the battery uh, or the system saw that the battery was already pretty full. So it was just float charging. So this will work um if like in the beginning when you start up your car it's probably gonna be up in the 14s so um yeah this definitely does the trick so i just wanted to make sure and let you guys know if this works or not so it definitely works for sure so guys um another thing i forgot to mention was oh crap I, uh, I cut some of the, I trimmed some of the plastic off 
on this side right here because it wasn't really uh, going in really nice so just get some I don't know cutters or something and then just trim the plastic on this side so it can sit in there nice so now when you go and plug it in it sits in there nicely before it was kind of at an angle and it wasn't all the way in so I'm gonna go ahead and try and see if uh, maybe that was uh, if that'll now that it's seated all the way in maybe it'll give it a little more voltage I'll uh, I'll be right back forgot to mention that um, it's really easy to install this uh, to replace your battery it's all 10 millimeter um, this is 10 millimeter this is 10 millimeter and these little uh, nuts are uh, for the bracket they're also 10 millimeter so it's all 10 millimeter so yeah it takes literally five minutes to replace the battery so yeah guys that's it for this video if uh if you have any questions let me know thanks for watching thanks for subscribing if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and subscribe stay tuned and i'll uh, see you guys on the next one thanks bye